All right, apologies in advance for the lower than average quality. I, I didn't actually uh, plan to make this. I had to like very quickly throw this whole thing together. So I wanted to make a, a quick PSA on how how the actual Pumpkin King event works, or, or specifically the, the encounter. And also a quick disclaimer, all, all of these numbers are in tier three. The, these numbers will differ if you farm them in a different tier. Difficulty doesn't matter. You get the same number of tokens no matter what difficulty you play on. And also, I'm just going to assume you already know how exactly the event works, like finding the rooms. Like, like, like there, there are plenty of guides already out there on how to actually farm the event. I'm specifically talking about the Pumpkin King encounter. So in tier 3, the Pumpkin King will drop up to 12 tokens in total in tier 3, regardless of difficulty. If you get Treat, he will despawn and immediately drop all 12. If you get Tricked, he will drop between 3 and 5 candies on hit during the fight, and then the other 7 will drop afterwards. From my experience, there, there, it seems to be kind of random whether or not you get 3 or 5 during the fight, but you will always get 7 after he dies. He always drops 7 tokens after the encounter is over. So ideally what you want to do is you want to hit him 3 to 5 times until those tokens stop dropping and then kill him afterwards. And then this next point is important. Multi-hit attacks don't work. Things like Brandish Charge Attacks, Blitz Needle, anything that hits multiple times during the same attack don't proc multiple candies to drop. It has to be 3-5 to five individual hits from different weapons. If you kill the boss too quickly before you can get those 3-5 to five candies, they won't drop and you will get less candies per run. Haze Bombs are some of the best weapons you can use to proc these 5 hits. Fire can work because each each time it procs, it will drop one candy, but I wouldn't recommend it for reasons I'll explain in just a moment. Freeze is really good for keeping it in place, but you still need someone to hit him for the tokens to drop. And then Torpor Tantrum is actually really, really good for this event. Leap has a unique interaction with the Pumpkin King, where for some reason, when he's put to sleep, he will immediately drop all five tokens consecutively. The most efficient method that I've seen is to put him to sleep with Torpor Tantrum, wait a second or two for the tokens to drop, and then insta-kill him as quickly as you can. Fang of Og is really good, but Brandishes also work. But to state the obvious, this strategy doesn't really work if you're in a party that immediately hits him upon spawning in, which will just wake him up, and it just, it, it just, it just completely ruins the strategy. So if you're in a situation where people just keep hitting him, you're better off using Shiv because you can reapply Freeze and constantly keep him still. But if you're in like an organized party or a group that actually listens to what you're saying, then uh, tell them to wait a second and let the sleep drop all the tokens for you and then insta kill him afterwards. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick PSA because I've seen way too, way too many people just instantly kill him and just get like significantly less tokens. Alrighty, I, I'm, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go farm some more Pumpkin King, layer, Pumpkin King layers and just collect as many boxes as I can.